another episode of Marketing for Founders. I am Suraj Devakaran, the founder of Digital Uncovered, and with me I have I am Ajish Venugopalan. I am the CEO and founder for AJ and VG Media. Welcome to our show. So one of the burning questions that we want to answer in today's episode is, and uh, this is for you, Ajish. Uh, you've been mentoring startups for a long time now. So, what are some of the frequently asked questions that come in from founders when they are trying to establish marketing as a function? That's a very, uh, that's indeed a very interesting question, Suraj. The first question startups typically ask is how to go about creating or building a brand for themselves. Um, and I typically tell them that you know you really think hard on your story storytelling strategy. You know, I most of the times uh, whenever they come to me with a story, I tell them to rethink on their uh, storytelling strategy. Uh, fundamentally, I believe that uh, one should uh, look at consumer data and club it with uh, uh, omni-channel platform or technology that they are uh, typically using. Now, to elaborate on this, uh, well, there are multiple omni-channel platforms available in the market. And you know, what do we really mean by omni-channel is uh, consumers today have multiple channels to approach you. They can come to you through social media. They can come to you through a phone call. They can come to you through a website or uh, they can come to you through uh, different other uh, uh, platforms like a chatbot or uh, chat GPTs uh, in today's world, uh, which a lot of new generation companies are trying to adapt. Now, what do you really mean by omni-channel? Whichever channel uh, the consumer takes to get to you, you should still be able to identify which is a customer who's come to you and address their queries in the right way. Uh, and that's what we typically mean by uh, telling you, you know, uh, omnichannel uh, strategies or omnichannel platform that you probably use. So, to sort of say, you know, uh, first thing is to understand the consumer data and uh, use an omnichannel strategy to address uh, your consumer's pain point using an omn omnichannel strategy. Uh, number two, uh, you should think from your consumer's perspective. You should understand why the consumer has come to you uh, typically most of the buying decisions are irrational uh, and most of these decisions are emotional so unless and until you understand uh, the perspective of your consumer you are not able to build the right content and finally you create content that resonates with your consumer let me take an example uh, of uh, uh, of an Indian brand, uh, Maruti Suzuki. When Suzuki wanted to enter India uh, through a joint venture with Maruti, uh, they got their consumer story right. Uh, what does the Indian cons consumer want at that time? They wanted an affordable car. They wanted a family car. Uh, and, and Maruti was bang on point in creating the content and understanding their uh, uh, understanding the consumer's point of view in the right way. Uh, we, we can portray this by playing some of the uh, advertisements by Maruti Suzuki and uh, uh, one of the ads that I can really recollect on fuel efficiency is you know when there is a young Sardar boy playing around with a toy you know and saying that you know Papa ye fuel katami nahi hota right that's one of the ad on the fuel efficiency uh, that Maruti came up with this there's another typical ad where uh, uh, Maruti has come up with would probably be, you know, people trying to get home uh, for Diwali or, uh, or a bride and a groom uh, taking uh, a Maruti Suzuki after the, you know, driving away for the honeymoon on a Maruti Suzuki car, right? Uh, or, a, or a family driving uh, a Maruti Suzuki with their pet uh, or, uh, or a neighbor buying a new Maruti car and the entire Mohalla sitting in the Maruti Suzuki car and riding, right? Now, the reason Maruti succeeded so far in the market was because they really got their consumer strategy uh, right. Uh, so, to reiterate uh, three things uh, on storytelling, one is club consumer data with omni-channel strategy. Uh, think from the perspectives of your consumer. Third is create content uh, or create content uh, that resonates with your consumer. Suraj, uh, thank you so much for asking me that question and allowing me to elaborate. But uh, I understand that you've been specializing in content marketing for uh, for a long time. 
Uh, from your perspective, uh, how do you really go about creating content that resonates with uh, consumers? That's actually an interesting question, Ajish. Uh, and what I've seen in the Indian market is that a lot of companies or a lot of organizations in India don't understand content marketing. I think uh, our understanding of content marketing has only evolved in the last 10-15 years and predominantly it has come from uh, what we've seen and experienced from brands that have come from the best. So what used to happen back in the 80s and 90s is that every advertising agency had a copywriter whose job was to come up with that one big idea. And once you had that one big idea, you would use integrated marketing campaign to spread it across different media channels. Right? But that sort of stopped in the early 2000s because you had a multitude of channels that came in. You had social media, email and every other channel that you can practically think of. Right? So today the word copywriter itself has become a misnomer. It's become a misnomer because today uh, idea doesn't start with a script or a television commercial. It could start with a tweet and that tweet, tweet could possibly become an advertising campaign. Right? Uh, uh, so if you're a brand, how do you sort of think about uh, storytelling and how do you start, sort of think about uh, building these content pieces and building a content marketing strategy? So the way to do that is to first think about what is the kind of pursued value you want to build, right? So for instance, Amul talks about real milk, real ice cream, how the ice cream is made up of real milk. Or the whole truth talks about how they are building healthy food and how they are a healthy food alternative, which is free of preservatives and chemicals, right? Similarly, ultra human is not trying to position itself as a medical device or a CGM brand. It's trying to position itself as a health and lifestyle brand. So once you know what kind of pursued value you want to build or what is the category that you want to play in, you have to build an entire content marketing strategy around it. So if you look at uh, Doordarshan in the 80s and 90s, they had a pretty good programming strategy, right? They had these hero content, like you had uh, 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 movies that used to play on weekends, then you had Chitrahar, then you had Surabhi, and, but they also had shows like Hum Log, or uh, uh, shows like Nukkad, which used to play from Monday to Friday, right? Uh, and if you if you're looking at uh, the same strategy being used by Netflix, they have hero content like they have Crown and they have House of Cards and they have Squid Game, but they also have movies that they borrow from uh, existing television studios like the MGM, right? So you have Forrest Gump and you have Shawshank Redemption, which people want to watch again and again, right? So it, although it's old content, right? So they have really good content that they borrow from third party uh, players but they also build their own content and they also have hero content right they, that, that, that they built it right so similarly a brand has to think about how can they use the same framework to build a content strategy around it so for instance whole truth while it talks about being free of chemicals and preservatives how does it do to it right they have a podcast where they get people who are really into fitness they have Nitin Kamath and others who come and talk about how they are following a lifestyle which is uh, to do with health and fitness. Uh, but they also have a training academy which talks about uh, uh, how some of the food that is being sold in the market in name of healthy is actually unhealthy. So for instance, they talk about uh, brown sandwich and uh, brown bread and uh, uh, multigrain bread, how, how companies are trying to sell that to us uh, by saying it's healthy, which while it is not healthy, right? So this is the this is how companies are going about building their content strategy and building a content framework. And uh, what's true with content marketing framework or content strategy is that you have to keep re repeatedly doing it, right? You have to keep investing in content for a couple of years to see some sort of tangible return come come from it, right? Because India is fundamentally a trust deficit market, right? And if you have to earn people's trust, you'll have to keep creating a lot of content, educate people, provide them value. And when you do, do that for a prolonged period of time, they start trusting you as a brand. Hey, uh, this is a brand that has helped me to understand what healthy food is, right? So probably I'll buy from them, right? Because I've seen some value from their content, right? And uh, it's an iterative process. So it's not it's not going to be the case that you will uh, get this right the first time or the second time. It takes six, six, to one, six months to one year of iterations to understand what is going to resonate with your audience and whether it's purely aligned with your storytelling skills, right? So that's uh, that's how I would put it across. Thank you, Suraj, uh, for adding so much of value for our viewers. I hope uh, they would have definitely benefited out of the uh, content marketing strategies that you recently uh, just now described. With that, we come to the end of this episode. We will be back with yet another exciting episode of Marketing for Founders. This is Ajish Venugopalan, the CEO and founder of AJ and VG Media, signing off along with 
This is Suraj Dwarkar, founder of Digital Ad Cover. If you like our show, please don't forget to hit the like button below or the subscribe button below. Until next time, thank you. Oh, 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 oh,